Hi guys, my name is Jeff, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how to install your Mac ride on your bicycle. Before we get started, I like to position my bike with the rear wheel against something so that I have this whole front portion available and open to work on without the bike falling over. Before you install the Mac ride, you need to have the Mac ride headset spacer already in place. Have a look up here for a video on how to do that. Open the front portion of the Mac ride and then slide the Mac ride into the groove, close the clamp, and then you can finger tighten that bolt down. You'll want to use a five millimeter Allen key to finish tightening that bolt and snug it down to four Newton meters. The next step is to attach the rear portion of the Mac ride. This goes on the seat post. If your bike does not have a dropper seat post, you can really position it anywhere between the seat clamp and the actual saddle rails. But I found lower provides not only a better center of gravity, but more space between you and your child. Open the rear portion, slide it over the post, swing the bolt closed, and tighten the black plastic knob until it's snug. Now, this is safe for carbon fiber seat posts, but you don't wanna clamp this to the actual frame itself. While this portion of the frame is called the seat tube, you can tell that the seat clamp separates the seat tube of the frame from the seat post. You wanna clamp the Mac ride to the seat post. If your mountain bike has a dropper seat post on it, do not clamp the Mac ride onto the sliding portion of the post, often referred to as the stanchion. Before you're done, you wanna make sure you have the foot stirrups in an appropriate location, and you can adjust these by loosening the five millimeter Allen key found right here. I like to have them right around the down tube so there's plenty of clearance for the front wheel with the fork somewhat bottomed out. Tighten that down to eight Newton meters. So yes, the Mac ride can fit on a bike that uses a modern 34.9 seat post. The trick to doing that is to remove the domed nut on the seat clamp. Now this is held onto some Loctite so you'll wanna use something with some leverage to remove that nut. And you're done. Happy macro adding. 